This animation is produced by Biocon Studios to briefly explain the published results about the dual roles of methothionyl RNA synthetase called MRS. In the first section, you can see the normal function of MRS. It is a member of the multi-tRNA synthetase complex, MSC, and is normally conjugated with AMP3, which is a potential tumor suppressor that is translocated to the nucleus to repair damaged DNA. MRS is a protein translation initiation cofactor and attaches to methothionine to the corresponding tRNA. Methothionine charged tRNA initiator forms a complex with EIF2 and then binds to the 40S ribosomal subunit to form a pre-initiation complex. Next, the mRNA and the 60S ribosomal subunit with the pre-initiation complex to begin translation. In section 2, we will introduce the dual function of MRS upon DNA damage. When a cell is damaged by UV radiation or chemicals, activated GCN2 phosphorylates serine residue 662 of MRS, and this phosphorylation induces conformational change of MRS, which releases bound AMP3. Phosphorylated MRS also loses binding activity to the tRNA initiator and therefore it doesn't bind to the charged tRNA initiator with methothionine. In addition, GCN2 also phosphorylates EIF2. This phosphorylation also induces a conformational change of EIF2 and loses its binding activity with methothionyl charged tRNA. Because of these two phosphorylations, damaged cells protein synthesis is inhibited. You can see here the released free AMP3 moves to the nucleus and binds to ANTM and ATR to repair damaged DNA. Therefore, MRS has a dual function under UV stimuli. One, as a co-regulator with EIF2-alpha for GCN2-mediated translational inhibition. Number two, nuclear translocation of AMP3 after releasing it to repair damaged DNA.